Stop buying these lucky miners, and I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, had to be dramatic because YouTube, dramatic stuff. So I'm going to flash this one again, but I'm also going to explain to you why you shouldn't really buy them because this firmware it uses is a direct rip from the Axe OS firmware, which is an open source firmware, but this one's been closed and locked in. So you see all this information here, it's giving you very basic stuff and you're thinking, that's pretty cool. Um, in the settings, you can have a look at, you know, what you're uh, mining, your frequency, the core voltages. Um, this one in particular has a problem. One of the voltage regulators has actually gone offline and it, it is a common problem that happens with these lucky miners. Um, and because it is so close sourced, you can't really fix it. You can't update the firmware. You, you cannot do anything. Uh, so you might be asking why I, I'm going to flash this and I'm going to get to that now. But more importantly, without that voltage regulator, I'm only getting two terahashes hashes a second. And also realize on the other video, I didn't really go into detail on how to connect this. So I'm going to go into that kind of detail now because I refilmed it. Um, this is actually another lucky mine I had and I'm flashing this one because of the problems. So you see I'm using this UART controller here. I'm going to leave a link for what it is in the description. And this is me trying to connect it. The first one I've connected there is the one that's going to get shorted to ground to unlock it, to open it to the um, connection. So essentially, there's three pins we need to connect. And they are the three that will run everything here. The fourth one is just one we need to short. And this is what I'm trying to find the best way to short it, which what I'm going to do is just touch it to the ground there. Uh, so we're going to power it on, reset it, and it's going to go full fans ahead. That's how we know it's worked. When the fans are spinning, spinning? When the fans are spinning full speed and there's nothing on the screen, we know we can now go and flash it. So you might ask why I didn't just re-record that, because I don't re-record things, I'm just going for it. So back to AxOS. Uh, this is an open source software. You might notice it looks very similar to that, that other one we showed earlier, because this is the original and this is so much better. Right? This has more information because it's more up to date. This has pretty much everything you need to like mine. Um, in this, it's split into different categories, sections, parts, and that is because this is maintained and this is updated regularly. And in the settings here, you can actually update the firmware from the web UE. Uh, so, you know, you just press it, it tells you, oh, there's a new update and you can download the files you need right here and then upload them to the, the website. It's that simple. That's what I like about this firmware. So you're probably asking, how do I know that the Lucky Miner is a ripoff of this? Well, if you go to the Lucky Miner, you can go to the recovery page and it says AxOS Recovery. So, you know, maybe something didn't get taken out, but there it is right in front of you that it wasn't changed, but you can't recover it from this screen. So on the AxOS real version, you can recover it, which is a really cool feature because if anything ever goes wrong, you can re put the firmware back on. So now we've got the Lucky Miner into its um, open state where we can flash it. We're going to use this Linux console. And this is one of the config files, which I've pre-configured. Now I understand about 2% of this Linux stuff. Honestly, I only learned it just to do the flashing on the BitAx and also the Lucky Miners. So if I'm doing anything wrong, please just know I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Right here, you can see it hasn't connected. Now, what this is telling me is that the UR is not connected to this console. Um, so I've just plugged in the USB and they had to tell the virtual machine that it's plugged in and it's started to flash. Um, it's looked for the connection and it's found the connection and it's just started because we're using the BitAx tool, it's just doing its thing. Now, this is the very important part. Do not move because I don't want these connections to disconnect so I am staying still. Once it is 100%, do not move. It's not finished yet. It's gonna just confirm everything. Um, once it tells you you can reset the device, that's when you can reset the device. So it's a hard resetting via RGS pins. That's your sign, it's finished. And now we're gonna just press reset here. Um, the console's gonna just turn on. There you go, the fans have started. There we go, the screen's come back on. And if you notice there, that network is the name of the network I gave it earlier when I put the config file in. So now it's flashed, we've turned it on, we're having a look at the XOS. If you notice, the terahash has gone up significantly and the voltage regulator problem has fixed itself. So maybe, you know, just reflashing of the firmware helped that problem, but on the actual Lucky Miner, you can't do that. So you are pretty much stuck. 
this is why I say don't buy these devices because with the original firmware, they are just like bricked. Um, and I don't condone a, like any sort of taking of other people's work and, and like selling it when it's open source. So I'm going to leave a link below to the Discord for the open source team that actually made that like um, AxOS uh, and just, you know, show them some love if you want to like appreciate that. So if you do have a bit of Axe Gamma, you'll understand AxOS is such a great firmware. So to surmise, the Lucky Miner hardware is brilliant. It's all compact and it just like hashes out um, and for like 140 watts. However, prices of them have now tripled. So stop buying them because I'd like to buy some more at a reasonable price. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.